Arthritis. Osteoarthritis is such a common condition that can be very, it can disable a lot of patients. And it's a progressive thing, it's a degeneration of the joints. And uh, uh, stem cells have been found to be very, very helpful. You know, there's no autoimmune component here. Simply, you lose cartilage and it causes pain and disability in a lot of these patients. Not many things to offer. You have, you take anti-inflammatory medications, then patients are placed on steroids. Eventually they fail that, and eventually they have to have their knee or their hip replaced. So again, adult stem cells, specifically from the fat, have been shown to be very, very helpful. And there's actually studies to show that some of these cells can transform into new cartilage. So it not only relieves the symptoms, but you're really repairing, which is really a key thing. So this is a gentleman that we treated, a 76-year-old with arthritis in both knees and, and, and hands, pretty bad. He was ready to have his, his knees replaced, and he refused. So he searched the literature, and uh, his uh, girlfriend, who's a vet, told him about, well, you know what? There's a company doing this on animals. And it's amazing. There is a company in California called VetStem who is licensed and it's FDA approved to treat animals with fat stem cells. So you can treat your dog or your cat or a horse with stem cells and it's approved here in the United States, but you can't treat yourself. So it's amazing. But they've had a lot of data. They've had a lot of experience with really great results. So she talked to him and said, well, they're doing this in animals, so you, know, you have to look into this. Well, he found us. He got to Panama, and he was in really bad shape. He could barely walk. Once he sat down, he couldn't get up. I looked at the x-rays. They were pretty bad, but he said, you know what? I want to try this. I don't want to have my knees replaced. So we treated him. We got his fat. We put it back, and uh, it was remarkable. Three days later, he was walking without pain, and uh, he was a different person. So he became a big advocate, and that's something that we've done a lot. You know, we've done this community outreach programs. We're really still a very small company. We've grown immensely in the last four years, but a lot of it's word of mouth. You know, we treated patients who become uh, our advocates, and they, they really uh, uh, speak to other people, and that's how a lot of our patients come down. And, and, uh, and so he, he's from Corpus Christi, and uh, he was really a very influential person there. And uh, he made me go there to Corpus, which I spoke there. And uh, so it's really remarkable what happened with him, like what we've seen with other patients with arthritis. His soreness disappeared. Well, these other benefits that we talked about, it's really the amazing thing. His erectile dysfunction condition improved dramatically. He said he didn't have to use a blue pill anymore. So again, even this is not a condition to treat this. You know, I wouldn't recommend doing liposuction to treat that, but... It's a remarkable thing. His bladder problems, his hair continued to grow gray from the original white, and that's really dramatic. When we saw him the next time, it, it, that was significant. That's why we know that these cells are going to other areas where there's damage. So his hand, even though we did not apply any injections directly into the joints of the hand, and that's what we talked about again, that these factors travel to all areas. So we just put the ones in the knees, and the other ones were intravenous. So obviously they went and helped significantly with the inflammation and the pain in the hands. So his, con his skin continued to clear up. His folds in the skin and the neck almost disappeared. He, he was more alert. And uh, so it, it was really dramatic. This is just so you, so you meet him. This was a, the talk I gave in Corpus. Stem cells, they go in and if it works, they fix you and you walk out, there's no surgery. They take some stem cells out of your body, wash them in your blood, re-inject them in your blood. The blood carries the stem cells all over the body and they start fixing anything they find that's broke. And they're successful. Well, if they're successful, why can't we opt to have that procedure available for the people in this country who don't have the means to go out of this country get treated we don't have permission to do that in the United States. The USDA has blocked it. I do not understand why. I've been down to Panama where I had a treatment for my arthritis, which was not, it didn't have me wheelchair bound, but I was getting there. I went to Panama and in three days, all my arthritis was gone. 
what? Three days after stem cell treatment, my arthritis disappears. So, you know, again, that, that's obviously pretty dramatic, the, the response he had. But, you know, again, with arthritis, it's a much simpler condition because, again, your immune system is not attacking you. But that, that, that's pretty dramatic. So again, we've treated more than 1,000 patients, and the stromal vascular fractures, what we talked the fraction in the, in the fat that's found there, that's very helpful. We've done a lot of infusions now, so we know it's a safe procedure. And uh, the side effects, and this is the study that, that we talked about that was done through the University of Indiana. We had coldness in the arm, pain in the air infusion. We had a case that developed an embolism in the arm because it was a big volume of cells. We've since diminished the amount that the patient received in each intravenous application, which resolved eventually after got in treatment. So basically, and a flu-like illness. A lot of issues with the FDA is that they want to label this as a new drug, and uh, which it isn't. And that's really the, the problem of why this is not moving as much as it should because of that issue. And obviously, big pharma, and don't get me out there, keep talking about it because it's frustrating. But that's, you know, the unfortunate thing. But I think the evidence is becoming overwhelming, and we're going to be hearing more and more about this, hopefully, in the near future. So this is what I talked about, the, the vet stem, and, uh, and what they've been doing for many years now. So a lot of novel uh, concepts that we're applying were because of all these studies done in animals. I'm going to briefly mention about sports injuries because that's another aspect of where uh, fat derived have been shown to be very effective. And uh, we've seen in the media now a lot of these athletes that are going to other places to, to seek therapies, Kobe Bryant, Terrell Owens, Peyton Manning, went to Germany, and they're, because they're finding out again that this, uh, these stem cells can help in the recovery of these injuries that uh, can accelerate the process and these athletes can't afford to lose uh, you know, a year in their, in their career. So they're looking for these and again, it's very promising of what they can do. This is just a brief report on this professional dancer, 56 year old lady who had an injury in 2010. She had significant pain in her knees and also she had a problem with her neck due to a car injury many years ago and uh, she couldn't dance anymore. It's very frustrating. She's an uh, orthodontics who's still practicing but she's really a competitive dancer and uh, she was really frustrated. She, she came down and, uh, and we treated her with her own fat. We got in, in injections intravenously and we infilt infiltrated her, her, her joints and uh, Pretty dramatic also, her improvement. Two months later, she was terrific, sluggish. She started less pain, and she started dancing again for the first time in many years. And uh, she kept progressing, and, uh, and it was pretty dramatic. And this is just a, a picture of her in a recent contest. That she, this is a world dancing contest. If you see the partner, that's the one from Dancing with the Stars, or one of them, you barely can see him. But, she didn't win, but she's dancing again, so that, that was pretty dramatic there. Uh, so in summary, it's a natural process of healing. You're really just putting these cells that are trapped in this environment, kind of dormant, and then you're applying them to help your own body. You know, and that's really the key thing. It's not a new drug, and, uh, and it can help a lot of these conditions. It, we're encouraged what, what's happening. We truly believe this is the future of medicine, and uh, I think, again, I can't overemphasize, we, we, we're, we're advocates of this, we're gonna push this, and we, don't, we want this to be an option. At the end of the day, the patient should have an option where they decide, well, there's, a doctor would say, well, we, you have this, 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 and you may consider stem cells. So that's what we're pushing for, and we feel that we're gonna get there. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll pass it now to Dr. Riorda, who will talk about spinal cord injuries.